Within moments, I will have a suit that makes me completely invisible. I will use my chameleon suit to steal all the world's treasures. There will be nothing I can't steal. Nobody will be able to stop me. How do you judge a game like Secret Agent Barbie? It's obviously designed for children. I may technically fall within the five and up category, but I am, in all ways imaginable, too old. Secret Agent Barbie, regrettably, is not a hidden gem like Barbie Horse Adventures Wild Horse Rescue. I did not get the same kind of joy from this as I got from that. You should not play Secret Agent Barbie. You probably couldn't if you wanted to anyway. I had to go through several virtual machine setups with multiple versions of old Windows to get it running right, and it was worth it only because I can milk it for that sweet, sweet content. Trust me, no one lives forever, this is not. Secret Agent Barbie is a third-person, adventure kind of stealth action game featuring discrete sections of gameplay separated by, in classic Barbie fashion, costume changes. You got walking around looking for stuff, you got sneaking around and not being looked at, you got chases involving grappling hooks and gadgets galore. The story is that Barbie is a secret agent. Okay, there's a little more to it. She also has friends who help, a big flying airplane base, and Ken is there too. Hey Ken. She may or may not be funded by the CIA in order to destabilize democratically elected socialist governments. It's not really clear. In any case, the game starts out with Barbie investigating the disappearance of a fashion designer friend's pieces, and before long she is drawn into a world of international intrigue and diplomatic dangers, and has to trot the globe sneaking into bases, solving puzzles, and thwarting a nefarious plot that could severely affect American influence in the geopolitical order, probably. She's no Sam Fisher, but she is equipped with a number of gadgets, such as a compact with a very safe and not at all neurologically damaging sleeping powder, <coughs> a camera that, would you believe it, takes pictures, uh -oh. and Doggo. Aw, sweet Doggo. Sure, I could complain about the bad parts of this licensed cash-in game made for children on a nearly zero budget and nearly zero time, and I will. First off, as you can see, the game looks like it was made for the Nokia N-Gage. There's no lighting, the character models look like something I could write really mean and harsh words about, and the animation makes me feel incredibly confident about my own future ability to make games. I could go on and on, but I've already exceeded my word budget for this video, so let's do a lightning round to get it all out of the way. Cultural appropriation. Too short levels until too long levels. Too many little interrupting cutscenes that show you exactly what to do and where to go. Walking feels bad. Outfit change mechanic that constantly interrupts flow. Too many lasers! Too many fucking lasers! Casual racism! Okay, quickly, in the interest of fairness and perceived neutrality, now the same with some of the stuff that's kind of okay. Puzzles are well made, if sometimes a little too easy, even for a child. Just like Wild Horse Rescue, the vibe is still nice and wholesome. These loading screen transitions are legit cool and well made. Trans rights Barbie, hell yeah! Secret Agent Barbie is no solid snake, but check it, VR missions! Great. Conclusion I started my Wild Horse Rescue video with the admittedly uninformed assumption that most Barbie games aren't very good. I'm a little more informed now, and my opinion hasn't changed. So how do you judge a game like Secret Agent Barbie? You don't. You look at it, you experience it vicariously through someone like me, you hit like and subscribe, and you move on with your day. That's it. Okay, Barbie, you win. Still a better game than Chibi Robo. 